this is Alyssa, the White Tail Woman, where I share my healthy homemade recipes, do-it-yourself projects, natural in-home solutions, and my tips and tricks as a Christian stay-at-home mom. So today I'm going to share with you some of the toddler-approved rainy day indoor activities. So to start us off, um, the first thing my son and I always love to do on a rainy day is go for a blanket ride. So I just take a large blanket, I fold it in half, and lay my toddler down in the middle of the blanket, make sure his whole body is on the blanket. Um, you may use an extra small pillow to support their head um, and make sure the whole body is on their blanket. And then you use the two bottom corners and fold it up like a taco. I'll make sure you can still see their head and you just pull them around the house. Now I have different flooring in my house. I have carpet in my living room, um, the natural hardwood floor in my dining room and hallways. And in my kitchen, I have linoleum and we, the whole way through the downstairs so we have no issues but just watch um, if you do have different flooring throughout your home when you do your blanket ride just watch the landing strips um, between the different types of flooring through each room so that's one of our favorite activities is we go on a blanket ride another thing that I actually found out by accident um, I dropped something behind the couch so I pulled the couch out about a foot and my son just crawled behind the couch and took his stuffed animals and sat there and played. So, like, mm. so I pulled other furniture out and was cleaning and we made it an obstacle course. So we just pulled our furniture out and we made circles around our couch and our chairs and just other things in our living room. It was just so fun for him. And, you know, I found that out by accident, you know, just pulling furniture out and we, you know, ran around the furniture and he took his dolls back, his stuffed animals back there and played with his stuffed animals and little cars and it's just that was a fun activity just a little obstacle course by just pulling the furniture out from the wall another thing um, we love to do is we blow bubbles in the house now I bought him a little bubble mower that's supposed to be out for in the yard well when we opened it up inside I just poured some solution on it and I sat it on the kitchen table and blew bubbles everywhere and it was just fun because we went and we were dancing through it and the bubbles were everywhere in the house. Now, um, I'm not too picky about my floors. I know after, you know, my floors were wet from the bubbles, but I just, you know, sweeped it up and mopped it up really well. Um, so if you don't like uh, <laughs> bubbles all over your floor, don't do this one. But we had a great time doing the bubbles with the lawn mower, just sitting on the kitchen table and letting the bubbles blow everywhere. If you don't have a little lawn mower like I do, um, like I bought, you can just, you know, take a bubble stick and wave it around or blow through it. Let your toddler wave it around. My son can't blow through the top the stick yet, so we just, you know, wave it around or put it in front of a fan and the bubbles come out and just dance through the bubbles. So blowing bubbles in the house is another um, rainy day activity that we do inside. We also do mommy and me workouts and um, walking videos. So I follow Leslie Sandstone and um, she does some great walking videos and she counts the steps like one, two, three, four when you walk up and when you walk back and you do kicks and leg lifts and stuff and just those, using those simple words that we use every day, you know, kick and one, two, three, four, helps him learn how to count as well as he loves to kick soccer balls. So we kick, kick, kick. So, and while we also do these workouts, we also just grab a stuffed animal and they're alongside us, you know, doing this walking workout with us. Another thing we do is there are mommy and toddler workouts um, where your toddler can sit there and do it with you. You can hold your toddler and you just go back and forth. You raise them up in the air. You play with them as you do your own little workout. So those are some fun indoor activities as well. Is doing a mommy and me walking or just you know a workout, or you can even turn on their favorite you know music and dance to music in your living room. Turn on the lights and shut the curtains and you know just dance to music in your living room on a rainy day. Another thing you may do um, on a rainy day that my toddler loves to do is make a dessert. So like make cookies. Um, we usually make homemade cookies like the flour and the sugar and all that stuff. We don't just, you know, buy the tubes and just roll it and put it on the oven. Even though you can do that, that's fun. But my son loves to get involved and loves to do everything I do. So we usually get all the ingredients out. And once he sees me get all the ingredients out, he pushes his little step stool over and goes, help, help. And he wants to help so you know I let him stir the bowl and it does get messy sometimes but it's a learning process and he loves to make cookies and loves to help 
cook in the kitchen. So we always make sure on a rainy day when we're cooped up in the house, we make a dessert or make a cookie or make something together in the kitchen. You're not just making, you know, a sweet treat, you're making a sweet memory with your toddler as well. So it's always fun. Something else we do on a rainy day is that I take all the blankets in our living room and all of our pillows and pile them on the, in the middle of the floor. And we have a blanket mountain and he climbs up the mountain and then jumps off of it. And it's just a fun activity. You just pile the blankets up and just, I have a ton of blankets. You can see I have a ladder of blankets on this side of the wall. And then on the other corner, I also have a ladder with blankets and I have blankets on my couch and blankets in my hope chest. So we have a ton of blankets in our home in our living room and we just take those blankets and throw them on the floor along with all the pillows and just climb and we bury ourselves underneath the blankets and play hide-and-seek there's so much you can do when you have blankets and pillows laying on the floor you have a little pillow fight it's just so much fun you can be so creative with that blanket and pillow pile on the floor we also have stairs in our home that go upstairs and so we take a ball and we throw the ball up and down the stairs. Now my son, he is 18 months old so he knows how to navigate the steps pretty well but I never let him do it by himself because you know they always have their mistakes and we have our steps are like 18, 20 steps to go upstairs so it's a lot of steps. But we take the ball, we have a little um, foam ball that we throw up the steps and it bounces back down and sometimes he just plays catch with himself where he just throws it like this and it hits the step right in front of him and it comes back and he tries to practice catching it. That's a good activity because it helps his hand-to-eye coordination and then if the ball does get stuck up on the step, we race each other up the step to get it and that's always fun. It burns um, some energy off, you know, running up and down the steps and throwing the ball helps hand-to-eye coordination. Another activity that we do, now I do a lot of crafts and I have a lot of boards laying around the house from all of our house projects and my crafts that I do. So one day I just brought a board in. I'd say I was, what was I, was I making? I was making a family sign for the entranceway and it was about, I'd say an inch thick and about eight to 10 inches wide and about five foot long. It was about as tall as me. And, um, I laid it on the floor and you would be surprised how interesting this board was to my 18 month old. He was walking on it like a plank and then once he gets to the end I yelled jump jump and he you know tried to jump off of it. He would take his cars and run it across it. Um, we actually ramped it on the side of our couch so he can use it as a slide. Now when you do this make sure you accompany your toddler um, but we used it as a slide to go down and now this board is like a daily plaything in our living room. We have it, you know, he loves to just plank on it and walk back and forth on it and jump and, and just we have so much fun with our makeshift slide and plank. So if you have any um, spare pieces of boards laying around your house, you can use that. If not, honestly, you could take pieces of paper and tape them together and make your own little, you know, path on the floor or a cardboard box and it will be just as entertaining. They'll still love to walk across it, you know, practice walking and stabilizing on an object. It's just good for um, practice for the little feet. And something we always do on a rainy day, we always read books. Um, doesn't matter if it's a rainy day or, you know, a sunny day like today. We sit down and we read a lot of books. It's a personal goal for me to make sure that my son learns a new skill or a new word every day. So um, by doing these different activities, I try to be so creative to create new activities to enhance his skills that he already has and also introduce new skills to him. So that's something that's, you know, a personal goal of mine is that I always want my son to learn a new skill every single day. So on rainy days, you know, I try to pay more attention to that and make sure that he learns something new that day. Um, something I also recently discovered with my 18 month old, he loves for me to follow him around. So like he would just start walking and I'd be like, I'm going to follow you. He just walk and I just follow him and he loved it. We did this. We walked around our, um, I have a hallway that wraps around my living room and we just walked around our hallway in our living room and we just marched and he picked up a ball. So I found something to pick up and he grabbed a hold of stuffed animals, so I grabbed a hold of one, and it was just so much fun to play follow the leader. 
And we also play hide and seek, which is something my 18 month old is extremely good at. Um, he just lays down and crawls underneath the kitchen table. And honestly, some days I'm like, oh my gosh, where'd he go? And I run to the steps to make sure he didn't go up the steps, but here he is. He's just giggling underneath the kitchen table. So hide and seek is another great game to play on a rainy day. And um, something in conjunction to that blanket pile that I suggested earlier is once you're done making your blanket pile and you start cleaning up, make a little blanket fort and just sit in there and read your books and play and hide in a little blanket fort. I know little boys love forts and I'm sure little girls do too. I mean, I'm an adult woman and I love forts. So we always make a blanket fort after our blanket pile. So that's my little list of toddler approved rainy day activities that my toddler and I do on every rainy day or on a cold day if we can't get outside. So I hope you enjoyed my little list and I hope you include some of them the next time it rains in your location. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button to receive new content on healthy homemade recipes, do it yourself projects, natural and home solutions, and my tips and tricks as a Christian stay at home wife and mom. Check out my blog, white to woman, wordpress.com as well as my facebook page the white to woman and my instagram thank you guys hope to see you soon